Best connection. Your bro. Oh, there it is. Oh, hi, hi everyone. Happy Saturday, Saturday night. Um, hopefully everybody's having a great Saturday. It was beautiful here today. And I just wanted to pop on quick and talk about a fantastic, fantastic nighttime plateau breaker. Um, I have done a lot of information on plateaus, how to break a plateau, what that means, how to do it, everything else, and gave out some quick tips. And I've gotten a lot of fantastic questions on that. So this is, I'm breaking one piece of it down. Talking about protein and how to increase your protein. Protein is very, very important. Every cell in your body uses protein. So I'm going to be going over how to break up lots of... Hmm, who doesn't want to learn this stuff on a Saturday, right? I, I am just shocked that, you know, this is not something part of everybody's routine on Saturday nights. Wild. Getting wild up in here. Okay. Um, so, nighttime plateau breaker. Biggest thing, a lot of... So many misconceptions out there, so I should start um, from some of the questions that I've gotten. People want to know, okay, so if I'm supposed to eat more protein, I have to watch my calories still, right? No, not necessarily. Oh, hi, Heather. Um, you really want to fuel your body and teach your body to burn the food that you're eating. So all that is uh, most often just timing and really making sure that you're getting the right things in at the right time. Now, a lot of times people will say, well, if I'm supposed to be doing some type of intermittent fasting, which I'll do another video on that and the benefits of that and how to, um, you know, really implement that in your life. Oh, hi, Casey. <laughs> Thanks. Happy Saturday to you. Um, and Spot, he, as soon as I start doing a video, he thinks I'm supposed to play with him. I know. I know, puppy. She's no, see, look. Ooh, puppy. So, anyway, we're talking about protein, Spot, as, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and breaking plateaus and people are worried about eating protein at night or eating food at night before they go to bed but that's actually one of the best times to really kickstart your metabolism and teach your body to burn fat and here's why um, so it's all about how the body works most of the time when women are and this is just women I work with a lot of women because um, I'm a women's health expert but a lot of women are um, kind of I want to say misunderstanding a lot of the information that's out there so not that it's bad information, it's just not right for you, or you're following something that's not necessarily geared for, to get you the result that you want to get to. So for people who just restrict calories, that's not going to get you the result. If you're just saying, oh, I shouldn't eat past 6 p.m., that's going to help me lose a lot of weight. Maybe. If you're doing like 12-hour fasting regularly, okay, I could see that. But if you are really seeing the right kind of results that you want to see, meaning you have the lean muscle that you want to have and all these other things, then I would say that would be the right tactic to use. But if you're really not getting the right um, muscle mass and you're not burning as much fat as you want to, you know, implement this system and you're going to see massive results. And I'll tell you kind of what it is and then why it works. Um, I'm going to go through this in detail some of these pieces that are really, really important, and there's a few important things to know if you're going to do this and do it correctly. So the first thing is to be getting anywhere from 20 to 40 grams of extra protein about 30 minutes before you're going to bed. Now this is extra. This is on top of your dinner. This is going to help boost your protein levels. This is not part of your dinner at all. This is extra. I mean, especially if you're under stress or you have a lot of things going on in your life, you want to boost your protein levels. So really get more, more than what you're used to, 20 to 40 grams more of protein and have that and get that 30 minutes before bed. An easy way to do this is to get a very, very clean, very clean source of pure whey protein. Whey protein has been shown through studies to be the most bioavailable if it's a clean source um, and that it affects muscle growth way more than any other type of protein out there. So you know, protein for protein, if you want to impact your muscles, the fastest, the best, the way to go is with whey. Oh, dang it, that's a good joke. I didn't even mean to do that. Okay. Anyway, so 20 to 40 grams of protein, 30 minutes before you're going to bed, because that type of protein impacts and increases your muscle growth, your muscle cell synthesis. When you're sleeping, your body's job is to rest and repair. Rest and repair everything. And every body system does this. This is what your body's job is while it's sleeping, which is why sleep is so important. So if you're not sleeping well, it's going to affect your stress levels and everything else. 
and how your body is responding to everything. So your cells and your muscle cells are definitely repairing themselves while you're sleeping and the more protein, healthy proteins it has available, the better and faster your muscles are going to repair themselves, which means that when you're working out and you're building more lean muscle, you can burn more calories and burn more fat because you're getting more of that muscle. And the great thing is, is you're doing it with food. Yay! You're just eating more to get more of a benefit. Who doesn't love that? I love that. Okay. So increases muscle growth. Why is this important? How does this work? Because your growth hormone peak, there's a hormone in your body. I love to talk about hormones. And this time we're talking about growth hormone. Growth hormone peak is between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. Growth hormone is known for boosting your metabolism, burning more fat in your body, and increasing that muscle, you know, that muscle building. So if you're fueling your body at night, getting yourself that extra protein at night before you're going to bed, while that growth hormone is being released, your muscles have available this fantastic source of protein. Now, a lot of times I'll talk about how your body burns fuel and, and everything during the day. At night, it's different. At night, your metabolism is different. So it, it really does affect things. So you're taking advantage of what happens naturally at night with the body. If you are supposed to use eight ounces of water with a protein and then have to be on the can you use less water? Yes, you can use less water. So here's another, my next thing. That's, thank you, Julie, for that question. Um, the next... <laughs> <laughs> I make me get up and pee all night. I know that happens sometimes. So here, the last piece that I'll talk about here and going through this is that getting that protein in, getting it 30 minutes before bed, seeing these results, tapping into that growth hormone that's happening there. You really want to make sure that at the same time, you're getting a lot of times some good healthy omegas. That's very anti-inflammatory. It has another big, big effect on your metabolism and fat burning as well. But also getting pre and probiotics as well as fiber in at that time. So <clears throat> you don't have to mix all this protein with a ton of water. I like to make a nice cookie dough with it. Um, mix it up in a bowl and uh, I say cookie dough because it's kind of doughy and squishy and a little weird. Um, but it's good. It still tastes good. And I actually eat that with a spoon so I'm not getting a ton of water in right before I'm going to bed because otherwise, yeah, I wake up in the middle of the night and I got to be honest, I have three kids. Somebody's up. Somebody is up usually. <laughs> So that just happens. So I like to not wake up any other extra time at night. But getting, helping your body break this down is going, to be help, is going to be very beneficial to have prebiotic, probiotic, and fiber. Those are two different things. Prebiotic, probiotic, two different things, plus fiber to help break down this protein so it's doing the right thing in your body. Yes, you should be drinking lots of water throughout the day so you stay very, very hydrated. And then you don't have to drink as a ton, ton, ton of water before you're going to bed. But this is really going to impact how well your body functions and building lean muscle mass. Really building. Just realized I was doing that. That's a little weird. So, 20 to 40 grams of extra protein. If you're wondering about well, which one is right for me, because that's kind of a span, message me or ask. Um, I can kind of help navigate that for you. If you're wondering about what a good source is or what's really clean, because it does have to be very clean, that's very, very important. If you're using the wrong thing, it will give you the wrong results. Um, it's, you know, there are specific times I use different proteins. Some of it um, I use throughout the day as a full meal replacement. That is a different protein than what I use for this. What I use for this is very different than what I use during the day. Very important key. 30 minutes before bed increases the muscle because you're taking advantage of your growth hormone. And this happens to everybody. This is not like some weird pill that you're taking or some funky thing or a patch or a, anything else. This is literally what your body does every night. Oh, it is just fantastic how your body works. Um, so this is a magnificent way to just work with your body. Your body physiologically has so many different systems and so many different ways. And most of the time, a lot of people will think, I need to add in all this stuff or all this weird stuff or fake stuff or, you know, other, I want to say like magic pills or something like that. And that's not necessarily the best for your body because that's not how your body works. If you tap into how your body naturally works and work with that, you can have amazing results by just shifting, you know, what you're eating and the timing of it to get the result that you want to get. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Okay. 
So Marissa is saying, so a shake and question mark, prebiotic and probiotic pills, you, it depends. So I like to get my pre and probiotics um, from a powdered fruit. Um, you know, there's lots of prebiotics and probiotics. I get, I like mine in powdered form because I can just mix it in really easily. Um, you can get that in there. And then same thing with fiber, powdered fiber, mix that in. Um, and I, and that's really easy to do. So it's all, all in one, you know, I've got a few different jars of things, my protein, my fiber, uh, my prebiotic, probiotic and fruits helps really, you know, break things down in the digestive system. Cause when you're, when you go to bed, your digestive system does slow down more. It's not the same. It's not. It's not the same active. It's not as active as it is during the day as it is at night. And that's a good thing because then you're digesting that protein slower so that you're hitting that growth hormone peak time from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. So there's that. So hopefully that's helpful. I, I just like to do it like that because it's easy for me to put it all in there, mix it up, get it in, have a little bit of water, go to bed. Yep. So what is it that I use at night? Not a protein shake. It is a protein powder but it's just whey protein. So, um, let me, oh man, I'm, you're gonna, you're gonna be right backwards, Casey, really quick right now. Okay. So differences between day and night protein shakes for me, things I focus on for the day are things that are complete nutrients. So there's the protein, I'm normally faster at writing, but this is backwards. Can you see this? Yeah. Protein, fat, and carb. Let me let me just trip this and roll back right there. There we go. Okay. So uh, during the day, a uh, shake that I get, I get make sure that there's protein, fat, and carb in it. So it's a complete nutrient, a complete meal. This fuels my metabolism more. This is crooked and it's making me a little bit, but I don't know. It's there we go. Well, that's not that's not that much better. Sorry, guys. Okay. So protein, fat, carb, complete nutrient, fuels my metabolism, fuels my blood sugars, keeps all that going. So that's my during the day protein shake that I focus on getting. Now at night, the difference with this protein that I'm getting, it's I'm just looking for the protein. Just looking for the protein in there. I'm not looking for extra fat or carb. I may have a little bit of, you know, omegas or something like that. I, you know, I take a nighttime vitamin that does have omegas in it, so I know that part's covered for me. Having the omegas at night, you know, um, health-wise, they're very anti-inflammatory, good for your heart, blah, 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 right? All that good stuff. Um, but also, they do play an impact on your blood sugars and helping boost that fat burning a little bit more at night. So again, if you're like, okay, this sounds good, this sounds great, I'm gonna maximize this. I want to get the most out of my food and helping my metabolism and burning as much fat as possible, this guy right here, and then making sure you're getting that omegas and your nighttime you know, you know, system here, that type of thing. Okay, okay. I don't know if anybody has any other questions, but if you do have questions, Comment below the video even after it is um, after it runs. I'll make sure that I um, <clears throat> get a chance to respond or answer your questions. Um, or you can message me as well. So I'm more than happy to answer questions. Um, and I'll also post my favorite like little cookie dough recipe at night. It's just a you know cookie dough. Again, it's not really cookies. You you could bake it, I suppose. Um, but it's a great way to get in this amount of protein at night really quick and easy, 30 minutes before bed, increases your muscle growth because you're tapping into your growth hormone state when it's released naturally in your body and getting these, pre, um, these prebiotics and probiotics. Another thing that's going to be really key for everybody to understand and realize that all your body systems work together and it's really, really important that everything works together beautifully. So for things that, for a lot of women that are under stress, if you have a lot of stress in your life and you're frustrated and you're like, why am I not getting these results? I'm eating really clean and I'm exercising. The amount of stress that you have in your life could be holding you back. So there's different nutritional tweaks that we make to combat that. Same thing with this. If you're even trying to do this and you're like, I'm, I'm trying to eat well, I'm trying to do this, this nighttime plateau breaker thing 
and I'm not really seeing the result. Well, do you have a little one that's waking you up four times a night? If so, it's gonna disrupt how much growth hormone is, how, bleh. It's gonna disrupt how much growth hormone is being released. Your body doesn't get a chance to rest and repair everything at night while you're sleeping. So that's gonna be a really big important cue there. Yes, you can put greens in it. Um, absolutely, you can put greens in it, Julie. And what if you go to bed late at night? Debbie, are you going to bed really late at night? 10 to 2, yeah. So a lot of people, if <clears throat> people who work a night shift um, or uh, what's the graveyard, graveyard shift um, is a very, very common thing for, uh, for people that have a lot of struggles with their overall health and stress levels because their body doesn't get to repair at night. Simple as that. Your body does not get to really come down, calm down and repair and regenerate everything that it should. All your cells have this job of replacing themselves day after day. And it's a lot of work. And if you don't give your body the rest and the time to do that, it does affect how well your body functions. So that's no good. So <clears throat> Debbie, answer your question kind of simply. If you're going to bed too late at night, you will kind of skip out on the maximum growth hormone that gets released in your body. So you want to go to bed before 10 o'clock, you know, 9, 9.30, if you want to tap into the most growth hormone that your body has a chance of releasing. So that's that answer. It's not a fun answer. I wish I had a funner answer or something magical. Um, but anyway, sleep cycle wise, that's kind of how that works. Casey, I'm the queen of stress. Oh, that's not a good thing. Oh, so targeting your stress. Um, and that'll be, um, the next video that I do, I'm going to talk about targeting stress even more, really, really specific breaking down. That, that was some of the feedback I've gotten from some of these videos is that people really like the information, but they want even more specific information on how to implement some of these things in their lives. Cause it's easy to do. You're already eating food, right? Everybody eats food every day. Just shift what you're doing. Um, and you're going to be able to shift your results completely. These little tweaks can make a big difference. And again, I love stuff like this cause I love to eat. And honestly, I like to eat a little something before I go to bed. So I just, you know, shift it to this instead of like a piece of chocolate or something. I mean, it could be protein. Really take advantage of my fat burning stores. Debbie, oh, Debbie, we should have a conversation. We can help with this. We can help. There's a lot of different things um, sleep wise that we can help get you to bed a little earlier and tapping into that growth hormone. So anyway. So this is what I have for you guys on a Saturday evening. Um, this is really fun. I really like to dive into this stuff. So if you guys have more questions though on how to break a plateau, on other things that you would need to do, how to do it, when to do it, if you try it and you're like, am I doing this right? Let me know. Any other questions, let me know. And if you found this helpful, please share this video. There's so many women who are frustrated, struggling, and they're literally just stuck in a rut because they don't know what to do. So by sharing this video, you're gonna be able to help so many more people get the word out to make sure that they can tweak these little things to get a different result. Yes. Yes, sodium's a big deal too. Yep, sleep, yeah, not enough sleep, Casey. That is three to five hours a night is not enough sleep. Um, yeah, we can chat about that. So anyway, all right guys, I have to now start getting my kids to bed. <sighs> Cause that's a little bit of a process when I have three kids and it, it's been MEA break and they've been a little bit on uh, edge we'll say because you know lots of craft projects lots of tiny pieces of paper around my house we're gonna make a craft mom great that means we're gonna cut up pieces of paper and make them everywhere what? it's so fun for them it's so fun oh anyway thanks guys everybody have a good night but don't have don't hesitate to contact me message me comment, whatever, and then share this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow.